Hi, I'm Adam Sills, Marketing Product Specialist for Massey Ferguson Tractors. I'd like to talk to you about wheel slip, what it is and why it's a good thing. Wheel slip can be summarized as the tractor's wheels traveling faster than the tractor's ground speed. One would guess that this is wasted energy and that the goal would be to make wheel speed and ground speed as close as possible. However, we actually want 8 to 12 percent of wheel slip for a front wheel drive tractor. This achieves ideal tractive efficiency by overcoming rolling resistance but still transferring the most power to the ground. Wheel slip also acts as a buffer helping to protect the drivetrain from sudden load shocks and helps conserve the tread life of the tires. Too little wheel slip will reduce efficiency. A higher load is placed on the drivetrain creating more heat, wear, and causing more fuel consumption to propel the tractor. On the flip side, too much wheel slip will reduce productivity by transferring less power to the ground and prematurely wearing out the tire tread. I'm in the cab of a Massey Ferguson 8S tractor pulling a Sunflower vertical tillage tool. On the Datatronic 5, I can see that my percentage of wheel slip is around 10%. This is within the 8 to 12% range we're looking for. However, if it was reading around 5%, I know that my tractor is too heavy or over ballasted. If it was reading around 15%, I know that my tractor is too light or under ballasted. You might be asking yourself, how do I properly ballast my tractor? Our advice is to contact your local dealer. Wheel slip is affected by soil type, topography, tire configuration, tire pressure, implement, and application. Your local dealer is an expert in your area and will know what works best for you. The proper amount of wheel slip will not only allow the tractor to run more efficiently, but also more productively, saving fuel and time. For more information, visit us at MasseyFerguson.com.